Good morning, folks. Saturday morning, uh, April 7th. Beautiful morning in Indianapolis. Going to pick up my wife at the airport from Carmel, Indiana. That takes about uh, 45 minutes, but there's no traffic. I wish I could show you. Indy's got, like, the best traffic in the world. After living in Miami and uh, Chicago and Atlanta and, um, oh my gosh, Greensboro, North Carolina, believe it or not. This place is amazing. Okay. I'm going to call this video C-Bond Strike 3 You're Out. Once again, I tried the C-Bond wafer yesterday. And you would think that on the top denture it would work better because the square inches or square centimeters allowable that you have bonding agents to the material bonding material to the surfaces if you want to get a little you know semi-technical jargon going on well anyhow it seems fine when I'm drinking water and doing whatever and I'm kind of wondering if maybe the carbonated beverages don't affect it but I did have a coke yesterday before lunch so I go to lunch, I have a McDonald's right across the street from my office, you know. I'm not real happy with McDonald's for the last 25 years because it sucks compared to how good it was when I was a kid and I worked there. I was a crew chief, how about that? 14, 15 years old, lied about my age, I was 16, I was supposed to be 16. But uh, I worked a grill and it was awesome. Ain't so awesome anymore. But it is fast, so sometimes you just gotta go stuff your gullet and go but you know what a week ago I bit into a uh, cheeseburger and the front part of my denture went up the back part went down and next thing you know is like basically almost in my hand and then with the c-bond and then once that happens you're done because then every time you put it back in you can feel it hitting your gums and everything so yesterday I tried it again and I figured I'll get chicken McNuggets. I'll just bite little pieces and I'll try to do what I can and it'll be fine, won't be a problem. Well, Seabon let me down again. And I tell you what, it doesn't matter if I barely put a little bit of water when I do it. It doesn't matter if I soak it. It doesn't matter if I spray it. It just doesn't matter. And what's ironic is that my bottom denture which has the less less of an area than any of the than the top one, it works just fine. So C Bond, you and I, especially on the top denture, we're done. In fact, I've read so many bad reviews on your product, I don't even know how you're still on the market. You know, if, if I had gum sores like I did at the beginning, which is why I bought you to start with. I would say, yeah, okay, if you're going to be slurping mashed potatoes, you know. But I have to tell you, trying to eat, God, thank God I wasn't with anyone, you know, with an associate from work or anything. Uh, I'm done. I'm totally done. You know what? Fix It In Original, for me, works awesome. In fact, it even peels off easier than Polygrip, which is my glue of choice today. For whatever reason. I just think I don't like using a fix it in original every day, every day because of the zinc and whatever, and I don't even know how much. I think you really have to overdo it to be in a danger zone. And you know, like even like car diet carbonated drinks. Yeah, I may not have the bad agent in it, but the other stuff in it isn't good either. So I'm old enough to know that at one point sugar, butter, oil canola oil everything you can think of was bad for you and if it's not bad today it'll be bad tomorrow look at Splenda, look at New, uh, Equal look at Saccharin I mean you know we're crazy uh, a new generation comes along gets a job and next thing you know something the old generation liked is bad so C-Bond one, two, out of there you're gone if my word and experience means anything to anybody, don't even bother. See, Bond, I'm going to out you on my YouTube. That's all there is to it. All right, you guys have a great Saturday. Uh, keep your choppers in. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.